do you want to just pull up the pulse chart and we'll just take a quick sure. look at it to see um, where we're looking and to see, because again, this number that we're sitting at exactly right now, as we start the show is really a number that a lot of people were calling out as support. Um, I think it is the 21 EMA. I'm, I, I think it's like sitting right at that point um, or the weekly super trend maybe. Um, and it did close like just technically below there the other day, like j very, very close. I was watching it towards, the time that that came up, but um, I mean, you can see we've taken a bit of a bloodbath here over the last few weeks. Um, but th this is a key level to not go far beyond. Now we definitely wicked far below it on that Nick Cherry market dump, which he paid like so much in slippage for too. Um, yeah. But I think as long as we stay here and can you know midterm bounce off it here, I think that we're going to be in okay shape. So what do you make of uh, this price action here? Yeah. Um, it's, it's recovering. It's right. It's in recovery mode. We didn't break these, the, the last set of lows, which was right around four zeros and a five. Uh, that was like our last level right here. Uh, it did get down to six, 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 two or so roughly Ooh, number of the beast. Yeah. The number yeah. of the beast, but, but it, it has recovered and you know, and see a little, a, a little pennant forming here. It's kind of closing off. The volume isn't real high either. Um, yesterday there was, uh, well, yesterday today, uh, the you know earlier today there right. was a fair amount of buy volume, so it just didn't push it up. I, you know, again, I think we're going to have some slow, steady. It may kind of come back into this territory where you're going to see this a little bit. Um, you know a little stair step up with some red candles mixed in between. I, again, I, I'm not a huge TA guy. I just look at the patterns and can kind of see what happened before. There isn't a lot of history though. Unfortunately, there, we don't have a lot to go on. So yeah, I mean, well, anything at this point could happen because there are people that are not happy and could get washed out. There's a lot of big bag holders too. Um, I, but I think once, you know, once things take off, people will be a little bit more uh, reluctant to sell so low um, and and even wait for it to 2x at, at this point and, and then get out. So, you know, I think we take a, a nice healthy run back up here to the, you know, 1.5 area. Um, yeah. Before we, we see another big sell off unless people just get totally complacent and, and want to get out. Yeah. Doesn't answer yeah. your question really, but um, well, yeah, I, I, it, it's really hard to say. There is a definitely, whole lot of data. Well, I definitely think that like, as far as sentiment, I mean, we saw extreme negativity and anger and stuff on Twitter. I think it was probably two or three weeks ago now to the point where you and I were talking about just not even going on there anymore. And after that period, it seemed like it just kind of turned into a ghost town almost. It just seemed like people weren't even really speaking about it, which is always a great time. Like that's when you yeah. feel good because it's like, okay, like now these people have at least, you know, mentally capitulated for now and have shut up anyway, <laughs> which is usually about the time that things start going up. We didn't go up though. We, we went a little bit further down, but I'm still not seeing the kind of negativity. I mean, you'll see like a sparse, like some account I've never heard of before saying, that's it. I'm done with Paul's chain. This is not what yeah. I signed. You know what I mean? I, you will <clears throat> still see that, but I'm not yeah. seeing any kind of like overall huge, terrible sentiment right now. I think it's kind of just, you and I said this before the show, like we all know we're in a bull market. It's kind of just like, we're in that boring. Okay. We, we know we're here now. It's a pullback. I don't know how long this is going to last, but whatever. You know, I think that's kind of where people are at right now. So, yeah, I agree. I, I think people get that kind of that bored. Um, oh, well, it is what it is kind of yeah. thing. So that right before the disbelief. So when it does run, someone's like, eh, this isn't it or whatever. You know, I think we're in that lull period but, but before the before the disbelief phase. But yeah, but yeah, I mean, I think the people that are 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 content waiting are, are going to be rewarded heavily. Uh, the ones that don't believe we need to get them out. And, yeah. and like you and I both, we've both kind of taken somewhat of a break from, from Twitter, um, mm -hmm. from X. Um, it just, you know, keep in mind it is toxic and not all the investors are on there. 
you know, there's a lot of stuff that happens in the real world that, that people just don't go there or um, don't post their feelings and <laughs> everything yeah. that they're doing on there, you know? So you got to keep that in mind as well. There's a lot of outside people that will influence this price as well that, that aren't even on X or Twitter. So very true. Don't